Hi, uh, and welcome to the following, uh, to the next chapter of our components-based tutorial for Vue. Uh, in the last uh, video tutorial, we found, ourse we, we found ourselves indeed with this problem because we're trying to use this new component-based system, and we were going to fix this problem, okay? So it can work with SCSS. Uh, as a small, like, explanation, uh, the SCSS scripting is a way to write CSS, uh, let's say more s smarter CSS scripts and it allow us to even work better with uh, design yeah, of the CSS. Okay. Uh, there is a lot of documentation about CSS CSS in the internet, so I'm not going to enter into that structure right now. So I'm going to stop the server here. Sorry, let me try. Okay. And I will proceed with installing the necessary elements for it to work. And I'm going to put it right here. So what we have to do is execute npm install. Well, save, uh, I'm not sure if save dev is necessary. We can put it on G. Okay. Sorry. We have to install the SAS loader and the SAS. Uh, uh, node and node SASS. Okay, if we do this, what will happen is that the npm install will install uh, the both things, the loader and the uh, SAS. Uh, as you can see, the loader it installed it, both of them right here. And now we can try again, execute the npm run serve, and see if finally it compiles. As you can see, the error that we have here, well, it also appears here. Great. Let's try it again with the other command that I didn't that they didn't execute and see if it works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, again, let's npm run serve. And great, it works. So it is the second command. You don't have to do the, the, the slash g, you have to do slash uh, slash our save and dev. Okay, great. So we're back in business and we can continue working. So thing is that here, yes, I'm importing the intro component and it's still showing stuff that is, it's really what, not what I wanted to show. Okay. If I take this out, think the thing is that it's probably not showing anything because the element doesn't have anything. Sorry. Okay, now it's clean. Let's go back, save, and now finally it's showing it. It's because it was uh, in the in the cache was catched in the in the well in, it was catched in the browser, so it didn't show the latest changes. Okay, sometimes we have to execute Control R or Command R to clean the web page. Okay, so now as you can see. It's showing the intro component. And why it's showing this word here, together with the image above, showing the intro component below. And it says, and why is it show that message? Because if we go to the HTML, we will see that it's already uh, defined with the, this text as default. Okay, we can take it out. We can put, uh, again, hello world. And then you can see even it's, changing it, it's changing in, in real time. It's what we are looking for when we work with it. Okay. Now, what, for example, we can do to imitate the system that we have until now, until that moment, as we, if we, if we look into the, the, the how the hello world element was structured, we can see that inside the script uh, section, inside the J JavaScript section, yes, Besides defining the name of the component, which is a very important element because that's how uh, the system finds the component in the code. In the case of intro that GS, we can see that the name is defined up here. Uh, we can also see that the hello world defines a variable, a variable inside the properties. Well, in this case, it's called properties instead of variable. And we can use this same variable in our intro, for example, and say, okay, let's send a text in the uh, to that variable, they send the text to that component as 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 
for example, input component, not the input variable. If we put here the message, for example, well, it's not exactly the same, it's a bit fading. Um, let me see how it is and just how to check it out. Okay, so thing is that in this case, it is with um, brackets. Reason is because it's not using a precisely the same uh, nomenclature. We can change it, okay? Thing is that I'm trying to maintain and respect the structure of uh, the components, okay? But still, we can change it. We, we can change it. We can make a change. It's not the end of the world. Later on, we will check it out exactly if it doesn't affect anything. We can even try right now, okay? And we will see that the message variable, for now, we put it there. We're not really using it. Um, the view, the, 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 the message is still there. So it's somehow we are defining the message from outside the component. Giving it, a, giving it a value, okay? And we go into the component itself and we see it's here. It should have that information uh, by default, okay? Or by the moment that it, it loads. Now we have to show it here. And now it starts the interesting part. Why view is so uh, uh, attractive for developers? Very simple. Because we can now use variables from the G is from JavaScript directly in our HTML, just by using the brackets to define that it is a variable. For example, if I do this, and we put here message, okay, all of a sudden it's starting to show, yeah, the text that I am sending from here. If I say hello e commerce. Uh, as you can see, it's already receiving the, uh, the value. It's first it puts this uh, value inside the variable that is inside the intro component, which is this variable here. Okay. And then, and then it's showing it right here because I'm using it inside this section. This is very important. Why? Because if you think about it, yes, it allows us to easily manipulate the visual side by defining variables that are dynamically updating. Okay, this is a very, very simple example, but, but in the future, yeah, we can use other elements that are much, that are, uh, for example, uh, well, I'm not sure if we can use div, but yeah, let's try with a D. Um, we can do, we can call uh, uh, functions, conditional functions. Yeah. Sorry, we'll look at it later. That may define, that allow us to manipulate the visual side by receiving ev events from the user and making a change and make a change easily and fast, okay? It's true, this is a very basic level of development. We will later on start looking how to import other components that are not ours, that allow us to make a richer uh, side of this uh, web page. So this ends the initial intro component and how to use them. Uh, later on, we'll start using components also that one component call another. For example, we'll, in the following uh, in the following tutorials, we'll also create a login uh, panel. For example, that will log into our app to, uh, from Firebase, which is eventually our uh, final objective to connect with the backend. And from that moment on, you'll be free to save information on the backend on the on the on the server side and, 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 and also create a complete system that uh, allow us to offer, for example, a commercial solution for different stores. So yeah, great.